It's a time of year right now when students are having to show their worth through exams. 18-year-old Martin Hill, though, has showed his worth through heart, getting involved in a project to help the disabled daughter of one of his teachers. Michael Holland with the story. This is Megan's chariot. I think it's stylish. I really love it. ...assignment that's become so much more than that. And I just wanted to make it the best that I could. Hundreds of hours, yeah. It would be hundreds of hours. I got these spring-loaded pins, so they pull out, and then they click in place. Because of the props, it's quite stable, and so you can see it's, it, it won't move around when you're loading it. Take the drop blocks down um, on either side, pretty standard in most um, trailers and you can drop the ramp. To get the space between the wheel and the mudguard, I just use a swimming pool noodle um, that kids go swimming with. So I cut that and put it over the tire and to give it that space. And then I got um, a lycra type cloth that is really stretchy and just stretch it over the frame. Then I put the fiberglass over the top. You've thought it through, young man. Yes, I definitely have. <laughs> When you get it stuck in with such an amazing project, you just get fully immersed with it, and it's just so exciting. You don't want to think about anything else. So then we just bring Megan's wheelchair up, and it goes easily up the ramp, and then you can lock it in place. And then the ramp goes up. Locked and loaded. The ideal platform for disabled 13-year-old Megan Clark to ride with her cycling enthusiast dad, Jonathan, who just so happens to be Martin Hill's house teacher at Botany Down Secondary College. We think it's, fan it's fantastic. I mean, Martin's done an awesome job for a very special little girl. All through the process, you've got this image of Megan in your mind. Yeah. Just seeing her smile, and, and that's what motivated me to keep going and to do it to the best of my ability. But, and this is where things get tough, last month, just two weeks before Megan's chariot was completed... Megan passed away suddenly. I was really devastated um, and I, I couldn't believe it. It wasn't something that any of us were expecting or predicting and so it really was, it was a huge, huge shock for us. She was our little angel from, from the day she was born and, um, you know, a very... Very Mona Lisa smile and be laid back, very happy little girl. She didn't get to ride in it and I would have really loved her too. The closest Megan got sitting in the frame of the chariot as Martin and her dad worked on measurements. We had to get the weight distribution right and so we got her in the wheelchair and with some scales to figure out um, where to put the wheels. And she was pretty excited. Yeah, she was pretty excited about it. We could have gone shopping together and gone, you know, popped up the road to go and get a, a loaf of bread and gone with her and that sort of thing. Hats off to Martin for finishing it the way he has. There was no way that baby wasn't going to get finished. I just kept going hard every day, just trying to finish it to the best that I could. Yay! Which brings us to this poignant moment with Megan's six-year-old sister Angela, able-bodied but more than happy to sit in for her big sis. Now you're the one going for a ride. Yeah. Not because you need to, but because it's fun. Yeah. So when you're behind Dad, is he making lots of noise like he's sort of unfit, puffing hard? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and while Angela's anxious that Megan's chariot stays in the family... I really, really, really want to keep it. Mum and Dad are equally determined that it improve the life of another youngster facing similar challenges to their Megan. I don't think we'll have any problem finding a family who'll, who'll love it. If mum and dad can find a little girl or a little boy in a wheelchair who needs this, that's OK. Yeah. Too much love has gone into it just to put it in the garage. Yeah, it's way too much love. In fact, this young engineer in the making is wondering how he could build more. What you're really saying is you're looking for a backer to take this to the next level. Yeah, exactly. If anyone out there is willing to help me get a patent. That would be amazing. I would absolutely love that. How was that? Awesome. Whatever you think you can help, look, get in touch with us. It, is an, it was a gift of love.